Hey guys, hey. as I'm sure you are all aware, inflation is continuing to rise and as a result, the cost of living is rising too. So today, we want to share with you 12 money-saving apps that will help you to save your hard-earned coins. Yeah, so these apps are going to be across different categories, whether it's for energy saving, whether it's for petrol, food, that sort of stuff, travel, uh, and so on. Okay, so we're going to be listing 12 of them, starting with 12. I'm going to work all the way back to number one. So definitely make sure you hang about and watch the entire video. Okay, if you're loving the vibes from this video, guys, we'd love it if you hit the like button, show some love for the work that's going into our videos. Uh, let's jump straight in. Let's do it. So what's our first app? All right, so coming at number 12 is petrol prices. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's the name of the app, petrol prices. Picture the common scenario, you're driving, you notice that your petrol is low, but you're conscious that petrol prices everywhere are very expensive. So you're looking around to see which petrol stations has the cheapest petrol prices. The petrol prices apps has made life so much easier for mm -hmm. you. All you need to do is simply download the app onto your phone and this app helps you to find the cheapest petrol closest to you. So it does it by location, by postcode. You simply log in and it tells you where the cheapest petrol prices are and you can just go there and get your petrol or your diesel. Number 11 is Deal Finder by Voucher Codes. So this is actually a Chrome extension rather than an app specifically. Again, as the name might suggest, this helps you essentially find discounts, mm -hmm. different voucher codes. Simply install the, uh, the Chrome extension. You can search for this on your browser or on your phone, on your smartphone. Uh, install this on your Google Chrome. And when you are purchasing things, so you're, you're making a purchase online, you will see uh, if there's a relevant code that mm -hmm. you can get a discount for. You see that those discount codes pop up towards the right-hand side and you can simply click and have those relevant discounts applied and therefore make a saving on your purchase. Simple. App number 10 is Olio. Olio is a food sharing app that connects neighbors with each other and with local supermarkets so that surplus food does not get wasted. So basically, if you've got some food left over at home, you can have somebody else come pick it up. Exactly, it's as simple as that. You take a photo, you list the item if you want to give the food away, and then you state the location for pickup. It could be your home or it could be somewhere in public, and the person just arranges to pick it up. Likewise, you can go online, you can go on the app and see the listings of all the food items. If there's anything that takes your fancy, mm -hmm. you can make an arrangement to go and pick it up. And it's a simple process. Yeah. As a result, food wastage is reduced and you can also get free food items. So things such as bread or vegetables, which might go off soon, or just anything like pasta, sauces, even home cooked food, you're able to share or receive food items which would otherwise end up in the bin. All right, number nine is energy apps. Okay, so there are different, obviously, different energy providers we use at the moment, use EDF, EDF Energy, because mm -hmm. um, they've got a great electric car tariff. Mm -hmm. um, but like, we've had people in our, in our communities and our comments share that they use the likes of Octopus Energy, yeah. and they're able to kind of keep track of their energy use mm -hmm. and that sort of stuff, almost by the pound. Yes. Um, so that they can kind of see how much they're using and know, know whether they need to dial down on their heating or their electricity usage and that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So downloading the energy app for your provider is a good way to potentially save money because you have so much more visibility over your spend. Absolutely. We've got this digital device at home that we use to kind of see how we're doing from a dual fuel perspective, yeah. uh, gas and electric. So we're, we're also able to kind of keep track all right, number eight is money saving apps. By this we mean uh, things such as Moneybox or Plum or Clio. You know, all these apps have, essentially have a round up feature. So Moneybox specifically has a round up feature and rounds your purchases to the nearest pound and takes those savings and puts it into your, a specific account such as your lifetime ISA and so on, which you might use to purchase a property. Mm -hmm. Plum, on the other hand, is artificial intelligence led and uses that bit, bit of technology to work out exactly how much it thinks you can afford to save without you actually having to do any work. And I think this app's actually quite interesting because for a lot of people, people say a lot of the time they can't seem to save money. Yeah. But I think it's great to see that technology is being used in this way to mm -hmm. encourage saving. And I think the more we kind of see our money being saved, mm -hmm 
they're more we're, we're likely over time to for our behavior to change absolutely and start to save even more money mm -hmm. other apps include clio that i mentioned earlier which is a savings and budgeting app the savings insights in the app to help you effectively manage your finances and by the way guys if you have any money saving apps that you use in your personal life that's not mentioned on this video would love for you to jump in the comments and let us know what those apps are. It'd be great to actually see a full list of different apps that we can all benefit from learning about them. Yes, we love hearing from you guys. So next is your cashback sites such as Quidco. We're going to link to it above and below, but Quidco, every time you shop using Quidco, Quidco will reward you with a slice of commission for shopping at some of these stores. And some of these are big stores such as um, Amazon, Boots, yeah. Argos, you know, places that you tend to shop on a regular basis by yeah. just doing it through Quidco, you get rewarded via commission base. And there are no hidden fees or anything. No, there's no catch. There's no hidden charges. You just get rewarded for shopping. Okay, number six is to collect Avios points via American Express. Okay, now we're mentioning this one because it's something that we do in our own lives and those Avios points help us to travel cheaper. We've mentioned this on previous videos, but it's worth mentioning again. Essentially, you collect these Avios points when you make purchases. Depending on what card you've got, we've got a premium card that we pay for annually, about £250, mm -hmm. which I'll link to below and above if you want to learn a bit more about it. But this is a credit card, so it's definitely worth mentioning that credit cards come with risks. Yeah. But if you're someone who's interested in travel, which we are, we love traveling every year and love to find deals and find ways to save money traveling, definitely, definitely check out that card I mentioned, as well as check out the video we made relating to this, Okay, yes. which I'll link to below and above that explains all this. Yeah. But again, we made a recent video about credit cards and the mm -hmm. benefits for purchasing on credit cards. But I should warn, in that video, when you watch it, we make it very clear, explicitly clear, that credit cards come with dangers. If you're not great at managing your money, if you're not great at kind of looking after your finances, then we would not recommend that you get yourself a credit card. Yeah. But if you wanna learn more about those benefits of credit cards connected to this point on uh, American Express and other cards like that. Again, I'll link to that, that video specifically and above for you to check out. Okay, at number five, it's Turo, which is a car sharing marketplace. So we talk about the fact that we know some people have had to give up their car, they've had to sell it just because they're no longer able to afford it. Well, if you're in a situation that you've sold your car, but you have mm. a long trip that you need to make, a family mm -hmm. trip or a long distance trip and you need a car, instead of hiring one from the traditional car hiring in places which may be more expensive, you can go to Turo where you basically go online, choose your desired car, enter in the location you want to go, and then arrange to either pick up the car or have the car delivered to you, simple. And it's for a fraction of the price that you would pay rather than getting it from the traditional higher places. It's worth mentioning that these cars are cars that are owned by people. Yes, they are. Hence why it's car sharing. Exactly. Right? So if you had a car which you don't really use, but you're not ready to give it up yet, you can even put your car up on Turo and make some money for a car you're not using. All right. So number four is supermarket loyalty cards, which are often points based or rewards based. Now, to be specific, the one that we use uh, is the one by co-op. So you do have to have a co-op membership, which you mm -hmm. can get for one pound mm -hmm. and you go and you shop we've got a local co-op so when we're not shopping at audi mm -hmm. if we have to pick up the odd thing here and there locally near, very close to where we live we go to your local co-op and pick it up yeah but there are some for tesco yeah there are others sainsbury's yeah. and boots so if you shop there you get like what is it one point for every pound spent depends yes. on which card you're yes. you're, you're using but yes. for co-op specifically you get two pence, two pence for every pound spent, okay? So it's actually pretty generous if you yes, think about it. Yes, very good. Um, and all you have to do is present the card each time and collect those rewards. Uh, but they also give you all these uh, discounts here and there. You might get 50p off, I don't know, a loaf of bread or, you know, you know, those sort of um, offers that are available for members, mm -hmm. um, which we've actually found pretty useful. And to be honest, they actually add up over time yeah, as absolutely. you collect those points and get those savings. Yeah. App number three is Shop Miam. It's an app with exclusive supermarket deals. So if you're somebody who doesn't like to buy store branded items, which we um, suggest 
that you do as a way of saving money. If you prefer your brands, you know, the likes of Nestle or Kellogg's, Kellogg's and all those things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this app helps you to find some of those products or some of those items which have been discounted and you're able to browse by supermarket. So if some of the brands are discounted in say Tesco and that's where you shop, you can select Tesco and see all the deals that they're offering in Tesco or you can filter it by whatever supermarket that you shop at. Okay, so next is to download your supermarket apps. So if you shop, for example, in Tesco or Audi, they are likely to have an app which you can download on your phone. So if you're commuting from to and from work and you have some spare time, you can actually plan your shopping. You can plan your meals when you're on the go using your phone and using an app. If you're doing click and collect or you're doing deliveries, you can book, you can plan, do all of that on your phone when you're on the go. We personally use the Audi app and with the Audi app, you can't do grocery shopping on it. But what you can do is you can shop uh, special buys, um, reduced items, items that have just arrived and garden shops and they also tell you when the sell dates are so you can look out for them. They do have a good mobile version yeah. of their website so you could it's pretty much like an app so if you wanted to do your grocery shopping on your phone you can go to their mobile version of their website and do your grocery shopping on there. Does it just redirect you to their website? It redirects you from your the mobile. app to, your, to the mobile version of their website. All right, number one, our final app is Too Good To Go. Okay, so this app, I was pretty excited when I found out about it. What it does is essentially helps you to get food from restaurants and shops that they were not able to sell. So rather than wasting food, so mm -hmm. quite similar to Olio in that yeah. it's around food waste and managing that. This time around, you're getting these things known as magic bags. Okay, so you can kind of search by postcode, or your location. So again, obviously this depends on where you're based. So if you are in, I don't know, a busy area, like in central London, for example, you're far more likely to see very interesting restaurants or and shops with unsold produce that you might want to go and pick up these magic bags and get food. But other than that, I think it's a pretty cool app. Yeah, it's brilliant. Like, you know, Ken said, it's, it depends on your location. And obviously, if you don't have any, you know, strict dietary requirements or yeah. any allergies where you are you can just pick up any magic bag, then this is brilliant. It's brilliant. It reduces food waste as well. Yes. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video today on these 12 apps to help you save money, particularly at a time when we are experiencing rising cost of living if you really enjoyed this video we'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button uh you know so you can expect more videos like this one from us here at the humble penny also, show us some love yeah guys. also hit the like button as well to give us a signal that you really enjoyed today's video guys thanks again for watching today's video and as ever in all things be, be thankful, thankful and, and seek joy take, take care, care people guys. bye, bye.